What a happy Monday and welcome to it, everybody. It is, of course, 4 p.m. and you know what time it is. It is time for XA. We're coming to you live right here on Cape Town TV, which is channel 263. Right now, you know what time it is, right? It's time for your biggest, your baddest, your youthest, hey. your favorite music. music. <laughs> I almost oh, got it. I almost got it right there. Up, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite youth show right here on Cape Town TV. Listen, man, I go by the name of Zeta. And today's show is going to be super amazing because I'm not riding all alone, though. I've got Lama Moon in the building. How, How we, do? we do? How we do? It's either we go big or we go home. And right? today is no exception. We go bigger and louder. And that's what we're promising you till the hour five. My name is Lama. I'll be one of your co-hosts. How are you doing, man? It's oh. been a long time. Oh, it's been a while. Mm. I had a gem of a time. I know you did. You went MIA gone. on us. Ah, you know, <laughs> nature reserves, vacay, right? with the mm and oh, no. ah, so I'm not going to say much. Please. Enough about me. Exactly. What's happening today? All right. Okay. So today we are actually joined by Inliso Society, um, which is a care center. And their mission is to actually empower enable skills and to provide um, basic needs to the youth in our community. So they started off as a soup kitchen, but then they extended and um, their projects into various other projects. So joining us later on, we'll be talking about this amazing organization is Uyanda Khubudu. I'm so excited. Oh. I want to see that one. I'm also excited about Mr. Sean Daniels who's here today yeah. because um, we'll represent an e organization that has been in existence since the 1930s, mm. 1937. So imagine all of those decades. So that's so like more than 80 the, years. Yeah, wow. they must be doing something right. Um, they've been transforming youth yeah. that up in South Africa since then. Yeah. And with the legislations, yeah, Kumbula 1937, exactly. you were under apartheid. Mm. meaning that they had to transform and begin to be part of a new democratic mm. um, elected South, South Africa. So he's here to tell us more about what SAA yeah. YC does. Oh, okay. I'm so excited. We also do have the training news, which is, I think it's time for us to actually get to the training news right about now yeah. and get to see what's been happening on our socials. Let's go. We'll be In back. <laughs> Welcome to the biggest, the baddest, and the most hip and happening. You know how we do what we do. Like we told you, it's either we go big or we go home. And today, it's time for us to dish out of those trending news. Exactly. And you think that we from scholar party to learners doing the most mm. at school, as well as um, some tragic news that hit South African um, um, the, um, film industry. About you, Ante So, yeah, let's start with the good news. Yes. Ms. Scholar party. Do you know her? No? You're trying to put me on the spotlight right now. <laughs> I think so I do know her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. When she goes to the dead in July, or when she goes to the Feather Awards, she wears e e e oh, a sausage. Oh, now I see. Yeah. Scholar Party announced on Twitter that she is getting married. I guess that guy has no beef with sausage, hey? Because who we'll posted a caption at the Zaire Ndiake and said, I said, I do. I wonder what attracted him to her. I never thought she would actually get married at all, you know? Well, I mean, the, the crazy things that she does <laughs> when she goes for the awards and everything on the socials, like, I never thought she would get married. Well, congratulations to Ms. Skolopati. Let's hope that um, Lendri Kubeka Yelatinyake would show growth yeah. and motivate her to become a woman of stature, somebody that young people can look yeah. for, um, which up proves, to. Which proves that most guys actually like crazy women. Or sausages. Okay, moving on. Getting to the tragic news, um, actress Antle Kambushe was in a fatal car accident in Durban. The car with five occupants reportedly hit a wall. Two people died. Antle played uh, the role of Nontlantlembeu, the seed, and she was only 22 years old, guys. May her soul rest in peace and condolences to her family. Dying at the very young age, it's very sad. And the son of Kalikari Ayake because she's exactly. on TV and oh man, so tragic. You know, <laughs> more to tragic news, something that you would never expect to see as Kolo in his mm. is a pupil taking out a knife and using it um, on his very own teacher. Yeah. Come on guys, this Imagine. happened in Northwest last week, a Thursday. This guy um, stabbed his teeth. Um, the toy incident in full view of the classroom, um, a degree process year examination. Mm. So um, the teacher um, in question, Gukhati Meng, Daniel Mukobolobote, Messi, so um, rest in peace. He was 24 years old. Mm. Um, he was stabbed by the people after he reprimanded the learner on Wednesday for skipping EQ 
the school feeding scheme. Mm. So this happened on Wednesday, Eric, you mentioned. And then we were talking on Thursday and scared him to death. Like what happened to our youth nowadays? Like, <sighs> okay, let's take a moment, guys. Mm -hmm. Moving on. Okay, so another case that actually happened in a school, um, a murdered boy, Miguel Lowy, was laid to rest on Saturday by his family and fellow pupils in Durban after he had been missing since the 17th of July and his body was found on Monday, the 3rd of September. <sighs> Do you see why I call you the queen of death? You always give us this sad news. People die. I don't like this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this anymore. Well, no, we'll be more trending news for you later <laughs> on the show. But you're going to go to Let's take a moment right yeah. now, right? Of silence? Of silence and some music video. Okay. Maybe. May your souls rest in peace. Uh, you are now angels, and this is dedicated to you. Liquid Deep with Angel. Enjoy. Let's go. Looks, looks off one side. Wait. I really want to get something off my heart.
Let us look at deep with fairy tale. Oh, I love it. Tell <laughs> us which songs that you love um, for us to show you. Alpha go XA. You can go to XA underscore live on Twitter. Or you can go Facebook. Go go It's XA on Cape Town TV. Call us on zero two one four four eight zero four four eight. And we also have brand new music videos. It's top fifteen. Go hype it up so you can join there. Go hype it up on Facebook and let us know which um top 15 that we'd like to see on the top 10 on friday that is up already on your social media no mr i almost said jack daniels <laughs> for some reason oh yeah, he's your uncle great uncle <laughs> great great it's uncle. birthday this month happy birthday oh, uncle okay. daniels. we don't okay. know which day it is though oh I, it's a secret he is from um, the South African um, Association of Youth Clubs that is aimed at um, empowering people, babanike, eat dignity, and encourage them to have a positive image about their body, mind, and soul. So he's here to share that with us. Yes, so like any other organizations, they continued um, to transform and challenge themselves to meet the needs of you, the growing youth population. So they provide training and um, program support services to the youth leaders, uh, youth clubs, individuals, and of course professionals. I can go on and on and on. Sean, welcome to the show. We are so welcome. excited. Um, the opportunity that we're given by you to learn more about SAAY and to learn more about it actually. So first things first, the organization started 1930s, oh. way long ago, and you're still in existence, meaning that you're doing something right. What is it that you're doing right? Just to say, we've been in existence since 1937, mm -hmm. and if you're a good PSL follower, you would know that is the same time Orlando Pirates started. Mm. Oh. But we're not in the same WhatsApp group, though. Okay, cool. <laughs> not in the same WhatsApp group. Yeah, say How so. we survived all this, all these years? Um, we've been through transformation after transformation. But the one thing that we've been doing as a youth organization is trying to stay relevant to the needs of our young people right across South Africa. That is the one thing that we that we can pride ourselves in is being relevant to the young people. Mm. So you just mentioned now you guys went through transformations and transformations because I understand during back in that time it was during the apartheid era, yeah. right? So um, what changes could have, uh, you, I mean, can you not void and you had to implement um, if, you l if you look from now to way back? To way back. Yeah. The one thing that we could have not avoid was the apartheid regime yeah. and what came with it. Mm -hmm. A lot of us that are now in the organization were born after that time. Yes. But through those years, as an organization, the Southern African Association of Youth Clubs started off as a boys and girls club. Mm. And as time went by, it changed dramatically into becoming a organization that focuses solely on youth clubs. Yes. And the one thing that we have implemented, as I said earlier, we went with the time. Yeah. As the time changed, we mm. are now in the uh, fourth industrial revolution, which True. is the ICT space, the Twitters, the Facebooks, mm. the WhatsApps, the Instagrams. Social we media. are there now. Yeah. So we're trying to be relevant, colorful, vibrant. Mm. And through that time of hardship, mm. we try to uplift the spirits of young people all across South Africa mm. by having them engage in conversations, whether it was in secret, yeah. whether it was in open space. But young people still had an opportunity to voice themselves, live themselves, and be South African. In 1937, I cannot imagine that you were around, were you? I wasn't even around <laughs> as well, so... I was not around <laughs> that okay, time, good. yeah. But My grandma was 10 years old <laughs> that time. What do you know for sure about this organization? What inspired the conception? The conception of, of youth clubs. Mm. It is this thing, young people in, in the township, like mm. for example, Guguletu, Langa, that is close by, Kailicha, yeah. where I'm from in Stellenbosch, Kayamandi, um, Bukwini out in Wellington, mm. and even those who are in the urban areas or the peri-urban areas, rural areas, farming areas, young people sit there at home having something they can give to society but don't know how to give it. True. Yeah. They sit there with a dream and ambition and it's like, ah, oh, what do I do with it? I can, I can draw. I'm looking at the at the backdrop. Mm. It's phenomenal. It's done. I can't draw to save my life. Neither can I dance. But there are other young people in society that can give something mm. that can uplift the community. Yeah. And that whole concept of young people having something to give was the birth and born place of the Southern African Association mm. of Youth Clubs. Now let's talk about the programs that you guys have to offer. 
And I know there's different kinds of programs yeah. and also like clubs that you guys um, are offering to the youth. If you maybe can unpack that. Okay. When it comes to our youth clubs, yeah. we offer them capacity building. And f that capacity building includes programs such as running an effective youth club. Yes. Because we believe you can be a dancer, you can be a musician, mm. but do you know how to promote yourself mm. and, and run your youth club as an organization or business? How to generate your talent into an income? Mm. So we provide them with the skills from grassroots level to professionalism, mm. step by step. Yeah. So we take them through the process of how to write a proposal to your local supermarket if you're having an after-school program. Exactly. Not to ask necessarily money, but how to ask for, can we have the extra rolls that you didn't sell last night? Yeah. And how can we have some polony with that? Mm. So that simple thing that might seem in insignificant is what we provide our young people with and say, but you can get something by learning something and through learning something, you can give something exactly. again. Yeah. Mm. So is South Africa Ooh. the only nation that um, SAA um, is involved with or have you managed to spread across the African hemisphere? We are spreading the love. However, due to resources and the capacity that we have, yeah. we are operating now in South Africa in seven of the nine provinces with the yeah. exclusion of the Northern Cape and the Eastern Cape. Yeah. If we have the resources, which is money and the, the manpower to do so, we want to be across South Africa. Okay. But we are sharing the love with our SADC region countries, Namibia, Botswana, Swaziland, Lesotho, right. Zimbabwe, all the SADC, all under the equator, but we even go further than that. Yeah. At this present in moment in time, I have a group of Belgians that's from a town called Dilbiet in Belgium that is based in Stellenbosch. And we are exchanging ideas about the youth club model and how they can take it home to Belgium yeah. and the programs that they are offering through what they are doing on a day-to-day -day basis, how we can implement it here so that it can make more sense of how we can build a global society versus living and working in isolation. Now, how, is it, how important is it for the youth of South Africa to actually take initiative and to join um, your clubs? How important? Yes. I would say um, out of 10, I would give it 11. 11? 11. Mm. 11, <laughs> 11 out of 10. Is there for a very scaling? good reason. <laughs> yeah, for a very good reason. Yeah. We are a one-stop youth station yeah. put it that way sounds like we're a radio station but we're not yeah. um <laughs> we we provide <laughs> young Excuse people me. with access to market access mm. to resources the things that they never thought of they can become or could become or could see um we might not have all the power to say here is x amount of money yes. go and do this project but we know people mm. we have a huge network as our mission say we are working with strategic stakeholders mm. for integrated youth development. Wow. So we can never work alone. And with that said, we try to make it as youthful, colorful, and vibrant mm. for young people, and most importantly, attractive for young people to join us. So it, I would say, give us a shot. Definitely. It is a shot in the right direction. Well, I'm from a vacation. I went to oh holiday. My word. <laughs> but I understand that you run youth camps and um, you holiday programs. I want to know where do they take place and how many times do they take place? Okay. In the Cape Vanac, I want to put it this way we're having one Hrua Jewel every year. <laughs> and uh -huh. that is with our members' national camp. Mm. Last year, it was here in the Western Cape, out in Stellenbosch. Yes. And this year, in December, we are taking it to Limpopo. So we're going to be in Limpopo this year. Mm -hmm. And we are looking at plus minus 150 to 200 young people from right across the country. Mm. Um, that's part of our youth clubs that have signed up and registered that they want to be part of the youth camp. Yeah. They will participate in the youth camp where they will learn various things, but also having um, unity amongst young people, exploring and learning new things. Okay, quickly before yeah. we go to an ad break, how do they get in contact with you should they wish to be part of the program? Okay, yes. they can contact the provincial office and that is on 060-989-2690 mm. or they can go onto our website www.saayc.co.za. Okay, right. the proof is in the pudding, so Woo. we want to know what he's talking about. Exactly. Next time you come to XA, you must bring the beneficiaries. We need to know and find out from them. Yeah. After happen. the break, there's more of excess. Stay tuned. Thank you very much, Sean. Yay. 
Welcome back. You're still tuning in. This is Xe right here on Cape Town TV. I hope you guys are actually having a good time and you're still enjoying today's show. Don't forget to connect with us on our social media platforms. We are available on Facebook and, of course, on Twitter. Of course, that's how it is and that's how we roll. My name right? is Lama. Thank you for choosing us. You've made the best decision this afternoon so far. We kick starting your prime time viewing. Now, let me tell you about Isikosa. Gemesho. To try Iliso. Um, Iliso means I in English, um, which is what you need to use to see um, Indo Ongo Zenza Yom Sabeni. For instance, Iliso is an organization that helps mm. the community, Baba Empower Rishi, Bazoba, compassionate towards each other so that they can make a difference in that community. And today we are happy to be joined by Uyanda Khubusha, who is a coordinator at Iliso, who's going to be telling us more about this beautiful yeah. initiative. All right, Oyanda, welcome to the show, and I hope you actually good. Are you good? <laughs> good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, man. Listen, um, you are actually representing Iliso Society, which is a, um, a care center in Kailicha, right? So talk to us about your day-to-day -day activities at Iliso. Wow, where do I start? <laughs> um, my day activities normally start early in the morning at Iliso, whereby since we have these programs all, put into one place, we have the ECD, Early Childhood Development, yeah. whereby we actually work with the learners there. So I sometimes find myself um, doing some singing with the learners from there. Yeah. And then since I'm part of the management team that also operates, we have to like sit in every morning and discuss what needs to be taken place, what needs to be done, and with the schools that we're working with also, um, what needs to be done by the schools. So it's from that, we, we do our implementations. Yeah. If someone has to go to schools, we have life skills that are um, run during school um, breaks and some of them during school classes. So we need to, um, to have our facilitators that goes there. And then we also have um, our tutorial that, um, tutoring that happens after school, mm. which is um, we have to go again to the schools to go do that. So it's quite busy like, like that. Oh. Yeah, it's very Damn. important. I would say, but I'm exactly. a bit busy after school instead yeah. of going through uh, being summer. lazy at home or doing and or getting up to nonsense. Can I say <laughs> nonsense on TV? Ooh, so, Lama. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not sure. What I wanted to find out because that's my view, but it's important. Mm. But coming from you, how important um, is it? Uh, your organizations is in changing the resources existing in our communities. For me, they are very important because um, when you look at the um, community itself, like you, you, you take Kailich, you see all the stats that we have, um, be it um, the crime, the, the, the abuse we have. and That's the nonsense I was talking about. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so when you see that, um, you find out there's something that's lacking and it's, uh, it needs to be done with the youth. So um, having um, organizations such a, as Eliso helps us to actually um, motivate and empower um, the, the, the youth. Mm. Because what you see is that um, people that are considered to have um, a nice um, lifestyle or, or money is those that are maybe the, the, the gangsters who are driving nice cars. So mm. the child automatically has that mindset that in order for me to be successful, I have to become that. Mm. Not being open to that education still exists and being um, uh, motivated and coached by people can mm. actually help you to better your future. Yeah. Now let's talk about uh, the background of Eliso, right? When did it start? Because you guys also have an orphanage as well, and you got you got um, different programs within uh, the, the organization. Maybe if you can just like, you know, unpack the the, the background. Um, okay. Um, oh wow, the background. Um, the Eliso was established in the year two thousand and five yeah. by a lady called uh, Mama Vivian Zil. Um, she was conducting a, a, a survey in a clinic nearby called Nolungile, mm. finding out why were people defaulting their medication when it comes to TB. Mm. So through the research, she found that many of the people were defaulting it because they do not have the proper nutrition to take with the medicine. Yeah. So that's when she had an idea to open up a feeding scheme, mm. which was there to actually help the elderly people. So from there, Elisa has grown to this feeding scheme. Yeah. And um, she also noticed in the um, um, after years, I think 2005, um, six that there were actually children between the ages of two to, to, to four that were also coming. So find out that there are actually um, no ECDs or other parents are single parents, mm. therefore they can't actually afford to 
um, to take their children to proper um, church. Mm. So that's when she had another idea to open up this ECV, which is there. And then throughout the years, she's been looking at the gaps, bridging them um, to actually having our own um, um, garden, which yeah. we used to actually cook for the people. And mm. also having um, our youth clubs, which consist of the choir and other sports activities. Mm. So um, in overall, in a nutshell, Elisa has just been this one big on organization, seeing the, 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 the damage in the community yeah. and trying to rectify it. Exactly. Now, mm. in Kailicha is a very, one of the biggest communities that we've got in yeah. uh, uh, South Africa. So yeah. I can imagine that the work that you do comes along with the challenges. So what are those challenges and who and how can help you guys to make things better? What are they and who can help and how? For us, the challenges, um, if I maybe speak about um, like the tutoring that we have, for instance, we, we go to the school and we try to get, um, we, we talk to the um, principals and teachers that we want a specific number with, that we are, we think that we are comfortable in working mm. with. But as the, the, the tutorial comments, we find out that um, there is a change, but however now the teachers want us to put, to have more pupils mm. in the organization. So it's a matter of getting enough people to assist, even with other programs also. You find out that we, we do exist, it's just that they want so much needs to be done and yet we're still a small organization, if mm. I must say. Not small as not grown, but we cannot accommodate so, uh, such a big a number yeah. like this in the whole Kailicha. Mm. But however, we, we try to seek um, for fundings for to, to better um, our systems in terms of working. Mm -hmm. And also to to reach um, to reach higher numbers all the time. Yeah. We recently had uh, a a um, a, um, a a program that we we are in now called the Yolo Foundation, mm -hmm. whereby we are actually um, talking to learners um, in the schools and community about the importance of knowing themselves and um, how to 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 to, um, to control themselves and do other things. So mm -hmm. we had topics that um, are like self-identity, building self-esteem, and all these were, were, were sessions that were conducted, and we, we had um, a target of 1,700 that we mm. met. So it's sure. those big numbers that actually put a strain, mm. not that we are complaining, I mean, mm. we love the work, but also sometimes, you know, we need to have that, um, that support in terms yeah. of uh, um, finance also, yes, yeah. um, having proper fundings and stuff like that which is sustainable also. Mm. So I think that's that's where Liso is and that's how we, we operate. And you guys uh, are dealing with, with a lot, actually. I mean, you're trying to resolve the issues that are happening in our communities, which is amazing, right? And you were actually mentioning now, talking about support. Where do you guys get the support from, if I may ask? Well, our support, um, we, we're working with the um, Department of Social Development, yeah. DSD in the life skills one, which is called the crime prevention. Mm. But also, they, they, um, what we actually um, love about them is that they don't just focus on that. Since, as you said, Eliso is, is quite vast. So yeah. they do um, help us or assist us in all the other um, aspects or programs that we have. We have um, our, our funders who actually try to actually support us, be it in the, say, for an example, in the tutoring, we have the, our um, TLT, which is called mm. the Learning Trust Foundation, yeah. who actually also tries to support us. Mm. Uh, and we have um, made other uh, program called the PACT SA, which is also also one of the, 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 the funders that we have that try to actually support us. Mm. Okay. Yeah. 021 is that number to dial to get in contact with us so that you can be part of this conversation. XSEA underscore live is who we are on Twitter. On Facebook, it's XSEA on Cape Town TV. Visit us on www.capetowntv.org. We love hearing from you. This is XSEA that you're watching. We're joined by U Uyanda from Ili. So, uh, Zara is your host. I am your host. But before we carry on about Ili, so uh, I want you to think about this. You started as a soup kitchen and then you mm. expanded to bigger and greater things. What influenced that decision? But before you tell us, let's find out what Eliso is all about. <laughs> In the townships of South Africa's Western Cape, life can be hard, social problems abound. But one woman had a dream. 
to make a difference. I started Eliso Care Society 2005. We have different target groups, uh, elderly people, youth in risk, homeless, orphans. At Eliso, we are having a food nutrition center, a safe home, an orphanage, a youth program, and the food gardening. We're giving out meals once a day. School kids come here because there is no one in their family who is working. The soup is nice. <laughs> we don't want people to depend on us. We want people to be empowered, being skilled, because we don't want to create a cycle of poverty. I love this mama because she helped us. We are looking for funds to extend our programs so that our dreams come true. We have a website, you can go www.elison.org. Oh man, isn't it so cute to watch the little ones just like all happy and all that? Okay, so that was a clip about Iliso Society, which is a care center. Um, but before I actually proceed, I just want to introduce my young ones out here. Um, they are the beneficiaries for, from Iliso Care Center. One is Ikola and Usindi. So welcome to the show, guys. Are you guys good? Decent, yeah, and I'm good, man. It seems like you're excited for the show right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm good, I'm man. Good. <laughs> I'm so, good. we're in the um, soup kitchen to voila. What influenced that? Um, for I believe what influenced it is Mama Vivian and, and her drive. Mm. Being the person she is, being the person that already suffered so much to actually get to where she is. Um, so, she was the, actually the one that actually had this vision and she just implanted it on us and we continued and we are still continuing with what we she saw as something good for the community. Cool stuff. So this goes to you guys. Any of you can take this. Or since we've got the microphone, we can answer. Yeah, How did you get involved with Elisa? Well, it started in January when I was actually struggling with maths. In January, when I started at Zola Business High, I was actually struggling hard. So um, I heard from one of my friends that there's a program, there's a maths program at school which could help me that I could join. So I actually, I actually joined this program and the second term, my maths results were good. Are you sure? Hey. Yes, I'm sure. What's the square root of 169? Oh my word, Lama. <laughs> Can I get back to that? Oh. <laughs> In time. And for you, um, Cindy, C, maybe you can elaborate as well. How did you get involved with Iliso? Okay, Mna. Mna na chosa eskolo yu. Yeah. Ebe instruct ne shaka kulu. Sego ngo. Tena ngi na kufu bina ita bina ita ni kwa imeds. Ya boso na gina pa na. Ite kwa gina pa manda. Hmm. Yongi ndi biya magaga kile bo. Yeah. Sego na tiba na. No puti stitch imeds kabe kono ni yongi puti stitch English. Hmm. Hey yongi ndi biya magaga kile manda. All right. I just wait until the next. I just want to go somewhere. That's the spirit of. But I mean, I, I life it was supposed to change, right? I mean, uh, you guys joined the care center. You have experienced. You've been with the family. Yeah. How has life changed ever since you joined Iliso? Maybe if you can just tell us the experiences in. Yes, na, you tell me what you know. Yes, you Iliso, Iliso, yeah, and go on. Join on your ex and your microphone. Oh, Wait, microphone. Okay. Elise, on the my confidence that was not on your manual. And because the pay primary, if you sell it, you get a one one for the bachelor rich for a med school. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, um, once I joined the Eliso program, as you said, you gained more confidence. Yeah. So I also actually gained more confidence. As a big brother at my home, I, I'm actually able to help my younger brothers with maths at home. Yeah, so it actually made me gain confidence and yeah. Okay. Wow. We are on the Women Empowerment Program. Yeah. And um, what happens there? Um, women Empowerment Program. Um, with the Women Empowerment Program, it's one of the programs that we we try as males or, or, or as men at least to actually support. Mm. It's um it's quite fo it's um focused on, on on the woman per se. They have um they they Christian fellowship that they do. 
they have um, outreach programs that they, they will do and will support them also. And they, um, the, throughout the years, the Women Empowerment has actually um, tried to have a link, not just with women, which are considered the elderly women, but also with the, with the young ones, with the teenagers. So um, from last year, there's been this link of having um, them join also the Women Empowerment. And through that, it has sparked things like your, 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 your drama for the, um, from them and poetry. And also, um, it has sustained the, the choir that we have here at Elisa there also. Mm. I mean, y you guys actually joined Elisa and you're part of it, as I said. Now, I want to ask you a question. Like, imagine without Elisa having to exist, what do you think would life be like without Elisa? Yeah, go for it. Okay, I won't. This thing is a cool thing. I ain't messing with physics. Yeah. Because last year, we got trained now, so we got trained then. So we go, we tend to get no longer any Elisa. So we go, yeah, yeah. He met here is a pagum. So now come and get here. He met in physics because this will be when he turned the math cool before and. And in ten long in English, I turn up all the in English. So I'm coming in the We met in physics. Okay, so what are your plans for the future? Sorry to cut you off. Because today we met in physics. I know. Okay. Umna, I send him dollar. Pufu, I send him to be low funda. And the funa, pufu, the funa, and the one with the table. Doctor. And the funa, my egg tells you. Uh huh. There's a nipple with him. Like, she got Oh, okay. Yeah, like, this one is passionate. Yeah. Yeah. There's a TV in here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, Kola, um, do you actually invite your friends to come through, um, to, to, to come and experience Iliso um, when you guys are, are going to uh, tutor other, other kids as well? Do you, do you invite your friends to come through to experience everything, or you don't? No, I've never thought of I that. I think it's very important <laughs> to invite your friends, man. You know what I mean? Yes. To get them out of the streets. You know, so that you can bring them uh, through, and then um, they can discover who they actually want to be as well. So I think you should do that. I'm actually going to try that out. Yeah, both I of you guys should definitely idea. do that because you guys are smart. You guys are very smart, and I like that. Hey, so um, we have the e social work initiatives that provide e intervention uh, support to community as a culture. So can you run um, that through us? Okay. Um, at least, so as I said, we have this program called um, Pact SA. Mm -hmm. whereby we, we have this, um, we do have, um, we have learners that we're working with, right? So for an example, we're working with them, but each learner has um, their own um, information about mm. like um, the child's basic information, his name and whatever. But we also try to have um, social intervention whereby sometimes, for an example, I might be assisting Ukola and not knowing what, um, it's not that he can't do a certain things, just mm. that he has something happening at home. Exactly. So I'm not a, a, a trained social worker. The only thing I can identify that there's a problem. Mm. So um, we, we, that's when we had this to actually assist us with, um, with uh, um, people who will actually have certain progr um, programs at home. So um, that's where the social workers came in. Social workers are, are still active now. We're working with them. They have um, referrals and clients that they meet up on a regular basis. Also being assisted with by home-based carers who are also in the program um, mm. at Iliso. Home ba um, the home-based carers are the ones that me as a, a tutor will speak to that um, I would like you to go see a certain child. Mm -hmm. And then from there, the home base will be there at the house to get the, the basic um, information about the child uh, that are not there so that they can actually, the, the social worker, when they receive the documents, can do the certain follow-up mm. on that child. I believe that, um, I mean, you guys are only based in Kailicha, right? Are you guys uh, thinking of extending or expanding um, the, 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 the organization to other cities, to other communities as well? Is there any plans for that? Eliso has actually extended to Eastern Cape. Oh, my bad. Um, <laughs> yes, it's, it's something very new, like um, it happened this year. Okay, um, right. So we, we extended to Eastern Cape. Um, we have a couple of schools that we're working there. Mm. Uh, Mama Vivian has actually went there a couple of times to actually go see if it's functioning. Yes. And um, we do have a team that we're supposed to meet up with before the end of this year to ex actually exchange ideas, and, and we should also go see it there because... We have people saying Elise, so Elise on that side, and mm. we have never um, seen them before. Mm. So um, we've expanded, and over that side, we're also working with the um, tutor, um, tutorial and um, also with the life skills program, whereby mm. we 
we tackle the schools that are there. Um, I cannot recall all the schools that yeah. side yet. But okay. Clearly, Elisa is doing amazing work for it you guys is. and you're benefiting. So what would you say on behalf of everybody that is benefiting on their behalf? A vote of thanks. What would you like to say? How would you thank them? What, what, what's that one thing that you'd like to say? Um, the Elisa tutorial program has like been positive in my life. And I would like to thank Utachi Uyanda mm. for actually being involved in my life and being able to help me and being able to be there when I need help mm. with maths. I would actually say, I'd like to thank you a lot. You've done a good job. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we're supposed to go to a music break, but we're not going to go there until you say something. Oh, okay. I'm not with you. Yeah. Okay. So how can people get involved wow. with the Eliso quickly before we go? Okay, uh, <coughs> you can go on our Facebook page, it's called um, Eliso Care Society, or you can check it up on the web. We do have a, a web page there to check more about Eliso with our details that are there. Okay. So it's Eliso Care Society. It is the biggest, the baddest, and the most hip and happening show in town. I go by the name of Lama. We've been through together this hour, keeping you entertained and informed. I'm never rolling alone. Next to me. Peace, yo. It's Zeta. And if you just joined us, don't forget, I don't know where actually where you guys have been, but don't forget to catch the repeat in the morning at 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. and watch this amazing show that we have we had today. We managed to actually sweep your Monday blues away. Mm -hmm. We talked to Elise so, mm -hmm. um, Society. Yes. We also spoke to SAAYC, who promised to bring a beneficial result through to the show so that Mazoyazma and then but this do more to talk about like educational news. Zaira is gonna hit you, uh, hit you up. Yes. With the first one, yeah? So first of all, we talk about hydrogen power lights up a school in the rural um, a secondary school, which is called the Polano, which is located in Ventersdorp, South Africa, is said to benefit from a plan to ease the country's uh, dependencies uh, on fossil fuels and to promote the use of renewable energy. Okay. Now, former learners um, of the now defunct St. Louis Primary School in Gualanga, connected on Saturday to seek ways to better their community and the lives of their ex-schoolmates. 30 years on, usually such a gathering are known for drinking and showing off achievements. Um, Usibeko said their intention was to support each other and help their community. Have you been to a high school reunion? No, I haven't actually. Okay, and it's been a long time, so I don't think I'll ever go back. Maybe, but moving on. So a teenager is in police custody for a murder of a fellow pupil at the Eastern Cape um, School following a stabbing during a fight over a missing phone. Now, police, uh, policeman spokesperson, Captain Kanya, Kaya Donjeni said a 16-year-old pupil had been arrested after the 18-year-old victim died at a local hospital on Thursday. What is happening in our schools today? Let me tell you more about <laughs> what's happening right. at our schools today. Um, a teenager in, uh, are you a link away from the Eastern Cape? Yeah. Okay, That's then the there's a 15-year-old pupil from a Alorado Park at mm. Johannesburg who was arrested on Thursday after he allegedly pulled out a toy gun and threatened his teacher. Wow. Um, we have adopted a zero-nonsense tolerance. No, good nonsense, my favorite <laughs> word. Um, <laughs> approach towards delinquents and the demonstrate of no mercy towards lawlessness in and around our schools, said the Gauteng Education Premier, Upanya Zalofisi. Um, it's, it's crazy. It gets, mm. It's getting worse and worse and worse. It's going. Well, I don't know. But on the other side, Lena Subject Expo, um, a big hit conjunction foundation and non-profit organization hosted the Careers and Subject Choice Expo at the school on Tuesday. So all the great nine learners at the Fezeka High School were thrown a lifetime regarding choosing the right subjects for their right career paths. <laughs> you used well. to do that? I mean, did you go through that back in high school? Uh, oh, la mm -mm. <laughs> Well, okay. what you can get up to um, <laughs> after high school, you guys, um, come to Pumas School and you come join us at Pago XC between 4 and 5 every day of your life. <laughs> you know, e learning trust brings you those after school programs and we love sharing them with you instead of getting up to 
nonsense. Nonsense. <laughs> no. Other than that, I had a good time. I had a, an amazing show, mm -hmm. and I hope you also had an amazing show as well. And I hope you guys also had an amazing show, man. I had a wonderful time, right? and tomorrow we've got my bra clothing, Nikumbule, um, on Saturday, on the 22nd of September. Mm -hmm. It was on my Kali Fashion Week. Well, Wait, what's happening there? Yay! 100 models. What? Bikinis, dresses. Oh, wow. Lingerie. And I understand because, I mean, it's spring now, so mm -hmm. I mean, all so, these fashion but, shows but are going to be happening yeah, so almost summer as well. My bra is going to be here tomorrow to showcase um, their talent, its designers, as well as the music that they. But Lama, play. why couldn't I be on that show, though? <sighs> I love fashion. Come who's, on. Who's presenting tomorrow? <laughs> um, it's Sazi and also Rizar as well. Catch them tomorrow right here on Cape Town TV at 4 p.m. <laughs> Same time, same place, baby. But right about now, I think it's time for us to close off this show. Yes. Good night. See ya. Enjoy.